So many people are home right now. Our homes are like fortresses against the coronavirus. That is especially true for one man from Susquehanna County. We head back down the Pennsylvania Road with Mike Stevens to five years ago and a castle that truly is a home. In this view, it seems almost like a model, a good, carefully built model for, say, a train layout. But looks are deceiving. This castle in Ron Hall's new Milford backyard is one you can walk into. A castle Ron Hall built. He will tell you it wasn't supposed to be this big. Just a front tower. I got that done, then I decided to look nice with a courtyard around it. And it went on from there, up and up and up, this way and that, spreading out as it went because, well, Ron thought it needed to. Also, if it's your stone and you're willing to haul it and lay it, why not? I thought, boy, that's a lot of work. I don't know if I want to do that. And I figured if I don't do it, I'll always be disappointed I didn't attempt to do it, but we got her done. To get it done took nearly 30 years, and that was just the hand-laid stone. The trim took another five or so. That's a lot of weekends, evenings, a few hours here and there, and it's a lot of stone. How much, you ask? 125 tons of stone, he estimates, enough to fill one semi and half of another. It's a fine tribute to Ron's relations in Scotland who have their own castle. The view from the towers is wonderful on a nice day. You can look down at the moat that we crossed to come in, take a spin around the courtyard below. Walking from one to another is easy enough. Pretty soon it's not impossible to imagine that castle in Scotland. Ron Hall took an idea and went with it, and look what happened. A castle where the drawbridge is always down for visitors. It's a job truly well done. Mike Stevens, Newswatch 16 on the Pennsylvania Road in New Milford.